why that happened, and that mm-hmm. is something that shouldn't happen. I believe you. Um, that shouldn't happen. But, and then the second part of that is that, all right, he's a psychiatrist. If he's documenting, take, asking questions, documenting his findings or whatever he's documenting from my, from my responses, why is he missing information? Because when I met with him, when you made that verbal appointment for me to meet with him, he took all this information. Now he's saying now that he did not document this information. So, and I, yeah, and Ms. James, and Ms. James, yeah, I did that same day, even though I told you, you I was, yeah. that's why I said that he's the kind of sitting in front of me. No, I didn't, because I'm not going through that again, I already no, did I'm with saying, it. Um, the first time. Yeah, the first time I went through all that. So you did, like, how long did you spend? Mm, I don't remember. I told him to tell you that I met with him the same day, so I don't know the approximate time, but... So, like, half an hour, an hour? I don't remember that. No, because I actually did, because if you say you met with him for ten minutes... I know he wouldn't have done that. No, not 10 minutes. He went thoroughly through so questions. Psyche, yeah, and that's why you sent me. Yeah. You know, so, how am I supposed to answer that? You asked me... Because, Nigel, if you're asking me if I did a psyche, about, would you, me, if, if you gave me an appointment slip at, to, to do that, probably, would you know if I did it or not? You just... Um, um, As a supervisor. If you gave me an appointment slip, which is that's the way it should have been done, that I sign it and I have a date and time and I'm supposed to meet with this gentleman. And I received follow- the appointment. Like, received like, the appointment. It doesn't mean that you kept the appointment. Right? And how would you find out if I kept the appointment or not? I would, get, I would know if you would get the appointment when he sends out um, communication that says communication out with But Mr. I told Palmer him. I told him when I met with him. I met with Mr. and he has a psychiatric mm. If I haven't received that, mm. right? I don't know if you actually met or you didn't. So this is September 6th, so that shows bad, com- very bad communication on both of your parts. Mm-hmm. Because I, you, 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 number one, you did a verbal appointment. Number two, I, I mm-hmm. met with that, I met that appointment. So you but yes, saying, he has not documented the saying, information. What are you saying? You're saying that um, there's bad communication between... The psychiatrist and me? Okay. Or no communication, because I told him to tell okay. you, because it was no, there's no other way of knowing. I would love to have, like, the most efficient communication where I know everything. You're mm-hmm. totally correct. Because if I met with him, that's the only way you know. <laughs> if he communicates with you. Email, whatever, the co- correspondence. I, the other way I know if you met with him is, you're saying I'm of the psychiatrist, right? So mm-hmm. I know. I I'm telling you that, but the problem is, the problem I'm having with that is the verbal have, appointments, Nigel. Really Even Kenyatta said I'm right on that. And you're a supervisor. You're a supervisor of the caseworker. So if the assistant director is telling me, and I'm telling her what you have done, what has transpired, and she's saying I'm right, you as a supervisor are wrong, wrong in the wrong too. She's saying you're right, you're right now? That you should have made an appointment on appointment slip and maybe sign it for the appointment to meet with him. So you have documentation that even to cover yourself you and say that you did what you're supposed to do by giving me that slip. Nigel, if I was a caseworker and I said, Nigel, let me explain this to why. If I was a caseworker and I was sending a client to do something, whether it had to be a housing, psych eval, medical, whatever, I, I would make a proper referral. Anything. I asked, I gave you my assessment. I would make a proper referral. And I said, no, I hmm? can't. No, I don't do it like that. September 6th? You never asked me, you never, you never rec- made I don't a... do it like that. I come to you and I say, mm-hmm. if you want to be with the psychiatrist, mm-hmm. it's available. Mm-hmm. But that's not an appointment. That's, if mm-hmm. you want, I don't know your schedule, mm-hmm. it's not meeting your... I don't know what you want. I'm saying, I can say to you, um, you know, the person from housing works is... You're going to be here tomorrow, mm-hmm. and if you want to follow up for your health, you can <coughs> meet with that person. I don't give you a slip. You didn't say, yes, I want to have an appointment or make an appointment for you. I just gave you information that the psych- I wanted you to know that the psychiatrist was here. Uh, which, so, which, what, what, what day was that? That's the second time we met? You asked me if I went this, I'm or the first this time? Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm talking about Thursday, the first time I went. That was the actual, all right, Thursday you said you could have made a recommendation, but on the se- so September, you want me to, uh, September when I met you, so you want me to show you documentation that, you don't have it, Nigel, you met with the, I gave an appointment to meet with the psychiatrist on September 9th, what's the point of all that? But that's the way it's supposed to work, because you wouldn't have to ask, come back and ask me the same question again if I met with him. Because you would have all the information yeah, and, and the right correspondence between so both of you. So you're saying I should not actually be met with the psychiatrist. And that's the, 
that's why we spent a half an hour. You, you felt how? Can I ask you that question? Maybe. I'm asking you. Just the way things transpired. I came in the morning. I actually think maybe the psychiatrist. I came in the morning. And you know why you say I asked me if I sound stressed? Because this is the constant attitude with you guys. You walk into the cafeteria, high with smiles and everything. And when I ask you about something that we have addressed in a meeting, you guys fly out and run into your office. And that's the behavior of all your administrators. Which, which meeting? About anything we discussed, I asked you about the dates. You told me to hold on when I was in the cafeteria, right? The dates of the incidences. When I asked you that in the cafeteria, I said, Nigel, did you get the dates? And you told me, hold on, hold on. You spoke to two other gentlemen, and I turned around, you were out and back in your office. And this is your constant behavior. This is your natural behavior when I ask you certain things that you know you guys are wrong for. What makes you think I didn't follow up? Because when I came back and I met with you, then you asked me about this whole thing with psychiatrists, this and that, this and that. And that's how that whole day transpired. And you, Christina Kitty, had left out that day. After that. So, what's the, what are we trying to fix here? I guess there's nothing, because nothing yeah, can be fixed. So, this is your, going to be your guy's behavior. Um, that's your assessment. Okay, and you give your assessment, right? And I give my assessment. Right. Thank you, Nigel, sir. Alright, so what was his reasons of transferring me to a micro shelter without any evaluations or anything? You well, haven't had a uh, psyche vial anywhere? I have. See, that's the problem, sir. And see, this is about the issue, and Dean knows this. I have it on audio too. See, this is why they have a problem with me recording. Because I did record this, the therapist saying that. And the therapist this. saying what? Wait, let me explain to you now. Or you want to hear it yourself, you can. When I saw, September 6th, I saw a psychiatrist do a, form a verbal appointment made by the, the director of social services. This is the person I mentioned that letter to have issues with also. As a supervisor, do not make verbal appointments. You make documented appointments, especially with a client from the shelters. So he made his verbal appointment. I made the appointment, saw the, saw the psychiatrist, did my evaluation. Now, after meeting with Dean, and these are the issues have been coming up and me reporting them, now I went back to him and they called the police on me twice and made a wrong for a false report from Campbell also. I've asked him for that, those reports from the Campbell reports, what happened in the instance. I was never arrested or nothing. I don't have no criminal history mental issues. I asked him for those reports. Now they're sending me to DHS to get it. So I said, this, I, could, I could put a lawsuit against you guys. You make a false report doing all this stuff. Now, I, now this is when I met Mr. Utaki. All of a sudden, this meeting comes up, meet the program um, administrator. After meeting with him now, I said, you know, I'll give them a chance. I need help in my house. And I'll do this. I'll do that. I agreed. Even he didn't want to be recorded, Mr. Utaki. Because, see, when stuff like this happens, you don't want to be on the phone. Because when this hits media, you look like a jackass. You understand me? That's what Mr. Utaki is doing this right now. I'm not stupid. So now that this transfer has been put through, because I didn't see the, see the psychiatrist, I recorded it. I went to the, the, my, the director of my social service. I said, sir, this is the problem I'm having with you because you're making these verbal appointments. Right. The okay. guy's office is right across the... You never saw the psychiatrist? Yes, I did. Because okay. I'm telling him, do you want to hear the recording right now of me speaking to this gentleman? Not and speaking sure. to the psychiatrist? Sure. Huh? Well, then, you took this information before. Why does Nigel not have it? And why are you doing, redoing it again? I am uh, asking you the right question. It's not, All right, I'm so you know what? The best thing to do is let me deal with Nigel and the DHS administration with this because I don't see a reason for me to redo this and Nigel know that them know that there's issues and you're asking redo, me if I did redo. it already. This is evaluation. I said no. I said no worries. Just give me a moment to just have any misinformation. You're missing, but you asked me these questions already, so I should be missing information. Okay. I sat down here with you. I did you're the Mr. same thing. Perfect. I'm not. I'm, uh, some of being Mr. Perfect, but if it's your job to put in certain information which you asked me for, and then he's asking me now if I saw you, which is like weeks or almost over a month ago, it's like now you're rehashing something again. And he knows that he should know or not if I spoke with you. And I did tell you when I spoke with you to let him know, inform him, because he didn't make a written appointment, a documented appointment. Remember, he made a verbal appointment. So therefore, you have no. Evidence besides my recording now that I even did see you previously to this. This is why I record. Why don't you leave? Why don't you sit down and replace what you just said, okay? Hmm? What, after I leave you, Mr. Boyce, you brief me, why don't you and I sit down and talk? Okay, yeah, okay. I, I know administration, play, administration is playing their games. That's why there's other issues going on. So if they, they want me to see you, then we'll see how this game works. I think it's out. a good idea. To me. But, yes, I think it is also too. Okay, but um, I'd rather, if you're going to do that, make an appointment slip and you can officially do it, okay? We're, we're meeting officially when I finish meeting with Mr. Lewis. Well, no, I need an appointment slip, sir. This is the appointment. I'll give you the official appointment. 115 by this clock.
Yeah, that's the official appointment. If I need a document. Pardon? It is not documented. I have no This is a document. Mr. Voice is a witness. Mr. Voice. No, but he's a client. <laughs> he can't use a client for the part of a documentation. I know, but you can't use that's that part. A, I'm sorry. All that's right. a witness. All right, but if you can... All right, but if, all right, but if you can, please, all right, make a documentation. Thank you. The New Year's about my records um, from um, Stephen Lopez. Um, Stephen said that he um, got in touch with you or tried to reach out to you, and about I spoke to him about two weeks ago or uh, three weeks ago, and um, he said he hasn't gotten any response yet. Yes, that that's on uh, my um, ab advocate from um, the coalition, for the homeless. And what, what what information was he looking for? Actually, all of my records. Um, I remember when we spoke. Um, oh, yeah. I'll make sure you put that up real quick. Okay. Yes, that's my record. Huh. Okay. Um, we have not received the full case record yet, but I'm preparing it pretty shortly. Um, I will try and get it out to you as soon as I can. Okay, you could send it to um Stephen Lopez. Um, do you have his information by any chance? Do I have Stephen Palmer's information? No, Stephen Lopez. That's my advocate from the coalition. He's actually yeah, the one that sent you the email. Right. Yeah, if you could send it yeah, to him. I'm in contact with him with email. Okay, contact him and I'll get in touch with him to get the records from him. So, you know, there'll be no misunderstanding or anything. I just wanted to find out what was going on because I've been waiting a while for it and I had no response. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Yeah, Taylor. I, I, I've had a few emails with him, so I'll, keep, I'll, I'll let him know what's going on. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. So as you see the back and forth, the calling back and forth, back and forth, these are records that DHS could um, just willingly give over and they're making a big issue. Uh, why is it taking so longer than usual? Everything takes longer for me than usual because everything is a fucking mess that people do. Anyway, this is DHS for you.